Before LAX and the Hollywood Burbank Airport, there was Grand Central Air Terminal. This was where commercial air flight first took off in LA. It was the West Coast base for TWA and American, and the end of the line for the first ever cross-country air service. GCAT had its roots in the Glendale Municipal Airport, opened in 1923. A syndicate of investors bought it in 1928 and paved the first concrete runway west of the Rockies. Architect Henry Gogarty designed a glittering new terminal with Spanish colonial arches and tiles and an Art Deco control tower. It boasted a coffee shop, a fancy lounge, and a cocktail bar called the Cockpit. For its glorious first decade, pilots and mechanics also trained here, and manufacturers tinkered with new planes in the GCAT hangars. It was a favorite runway for aviators like Charles Lindbergh, Howard Hughes, and Amelia Earhart. But World War II changed everything. The military lengthened the runway for fighter planes, and when Glendale required they cut it back later, the new passenger planes didn't have room to take off. The big airlines moved to LAX, GCAT shut down in 1959 and became an office park. Disney bought it in 1997 and gave it a top-to-bottom restoration. There's now office space where aircraft engineers used to study, and a museum in the old coffee shop. While there hasn't been any air traffic here for 65 years, Grand Central Air Terminal is an authentic link back to LA's golden age of flying. I'm Amelia Earhart. Thank you for doing LA with me.